Testing, testing. Good evening, parents, students, and staff, and welcome to our Juan and Seguin Elementary sixth grade award ceremony 2022. Please rise for the presentation of colors presented by the CC Win Air Force JROTC. Please join us to say the Pledge of Allegiance led by Carlos M. Vasquez. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas flag, we have Jaden A. Fuentes. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one indivisible. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to present our principal at Juan and Seguin Elementary, Ms. Blanca E. Musquiz. Thank you. Welcome parents and guardians to our 2022 sixth grade award ceremony. We're very proud of our Longhorn students for overcoming obstacles that came about due to the pandemic. These students tackled remote learning and assimilated into in-person learning within a year and a half. 
Although many challenges lay ahead, they continued with activities that promoted success. The teachers and school provided some fun activities in order to provoke, uh, excuse me, promote normalcy in their educational endeavors. We are proud of our student council members that persevered with two main projects, the food drive and the collection of bottle cap lids for cancer patients. The student council was inactive due to the pandemic, but we secured special permission for the two required projects at the state level. Our Longhorn Student Council was recognized at the state level with TEPSA. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Additionally, we entered the poetry contest again, and we still have letters coming in for our published poets. It's everything about having to do with their haiku poems. We started with a dozen poets a couple of years ago, then we moved on to 54 published poets, and right now we're waiting on our total. It should be coming in at the end of the summer. So they've done very well. During our slideshow, you will be able to see our published poets for sixth grade. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the parents and guardians that partnered up with our staff in moving our students forward. This is the first Longhorn class established in 2021 to move over to middle school. Bienvenidos a todos los padres y tutores y muchas gracias por su cooperación con nuestros alumnos en su carrera educacional. Hubo obstáculos, pero también persistencia. Eso es lo que le debemos a ustedes, al profesorado y a los propios alumnos. Nuestro concilio estudiantil fue reconocido por TEPSA en el estado de Texas. Aunque los proyectos fueron limitados, siguieron adelante. También nos volvieron a notificar sobre nuestros poetas. Empezamos con una docena hace dos años, luego 54 poetas, y ahora tendremos el total este año a fines de verano, porque todavía están llegando las cartas. Esta es nuestra primer clase de sexto grado como Longhorns, establecidos en el año 2021. Gracias también a nuestra consejera, Ms. Melchor, Coach García, maestros Mr. Rodríguez y Ms. Izquierdo, Mr. Roy Vidal, Mayra García, Adriana Urtiega, Verónica Rodríguez y Conserjes Rigoberto y Cruz García por su apoyo durante el año escolar y con este evento. También me acaban de informar que Ms. Trejo también nos está ayudando hoy. Now I would like to introduce one of our very own ex-student, Mr. Alejandro Ontiveros, top 5% in CC Win. Let's give him a big round of applause. Thank you, Ms. Muskis. When I entered the, the then elementary school of Robert E. Lee, now known as Juan M. Seguin, I would say I knew about five to 10 words in the English language. I was put in an unknown environment that brought fear for my future. I was completely new to the American school. It was a challenge that had been placed in front of me and my mother, yet I committed, yet we both committed to taking it on. I was put to the test within my first two weeks and I was allowed to enroll with a bilingual class and learned as they had learned. It would be later on when I'd be tested to see what I was able to understand by Ms. Muskis, your now same principal. I was able to pass her test and allowed to stay in the first grade. I was able to get through elementary with the help of my first grade teacher, Ms. Hernandez, this, my second grade teacher, Ms. Oresti, my third grade teacher, Ms. Hernandez, my fourth grade teacher, Ms. Fernandez, my fifth grade teacher, Ms. Cepeda, and my sixth grade teachers, Mr. Rodriguez and Ms. Izquierdo, and eventually able to master English. Another question would raise conflict within myself. I was asked in seventh grade if I would want to take pre-AP classes. I was curious and found myself asking what such classes were. The description my counselor gave would be classes that are to challenge kids and get them ready for AP classes. AP classes are meant to give you college credit. I was astonished and frightened at the same time. I thought about what decision I should take when my mom would suggest, give them a try. The counselor advising that, I could always try them out for the first two weeks and change back to regular classes if I couldn't handle the workload. I was faced with yet another confrontational question, whether to accept going into the unknown and difficult classes or conform with the norm. I decided to accept the challenge. It was fun yet difficult. It was a fun yet difficult ride through middle school. In some classes, you were introduced to projects that were due in some months as soon as you started the class. 
at times teachers would assign books to read and, and write reports on. Some would give homework daily on top of all that. Although it may sound frightening and endless, I advise you not to worry. It is doable. This is true about any challenge that any one of us faces throughout our lives. If it is a language barrier, a difficult subject, a teacher you don't understand, or an overall rough week, the way to overcome any one of these challenges is to persist and keep on trying until you succeed. It is this way of habit that led to persevering through classes, throughout classes, along with thinking positively that has led me to reap the fruits of my hard work. I am now proud to say that I am in the top 5% of my graduating class. I was able to secure the fifth rank out of 445 members that are graduating this year. I hope you're able to keep and internalize my advice. Take it from someone that has already gone through 12 years of education and who at first didn't know any English, yet is now enrolled in several college accredited programs while still in high school. I now leave you with a quote by First Lady Abigail Adams. Great difficulties may be surmounted by patience and perseverance. Thank you. Thank you, Alejandro Ontiveros, and good luck to you and your future endeavors. We will now begin our presentation. We will start with our sixth grade teacher, Mr. Henry Rodriguez. We need Mr. Henry Rodriguez's class to please stand up and follow Ms. Trejo. And we begin. Jesus E. Cano Trevino with six year completion. Next, Leslie A. Flores with six year completion. <laughs> Next, we have Pedro Fuentes de Leon with six year completion. Next, we have Angela D. Galvan with top AR reader and six year completion.
Next, we have Yadira I. Hill with six year completion. Next, we have Israel E. Guajardo with six years completion. Next, we have Miguel A. Guevara with six years completion. Next, we have Kevin D. Hernandez Obregón with one, two, three time perfect attendance, student council, and six year completion. Next, we have Aileen Hernandez, one, two, three times, perfect attendance, citizenship, Haiku poem recognition, student council, and six year completion. Next, we have Alejandro Juarez Guerrero with most improved in night station and six year completion. Next, we have Eduardo A. Lobo Bustos, one, two, three time perfect attendance and six year completion. Next, we have Natalia Martinez Olveda with six year completion. Next, we have Ilse N. Martinez with one to three times perfect attendance and six year completion.
Next, we have Uriel Martinez with one to three times perfect attendance and six year completion. Next, we have Alexis Mendoza Hernandez with one to three times perfect attendance and six year completion. Next, we have Maria Jose C. Muskis with all year perfect attendance, all year honor roll, JT, Haiku poem recognition, student council, six year completion as well. Next, we have Elena Ortiz with one, two, three times perfect attendance, student council, and six year completion. Next, we have Rafael Oviedo with six year completion. Next, we have Gabino Reyes Soria with six year completion. Next, we have Lisbeth D. Rodriguez with six year completion. Next, we have Elia Segovia Ramirez with one to three times perfect attendance and six year completion. <laughs> Next, we have Carlos M. Vasquez with one, two, three times perfect attendance, one, two, three times on a row, citizenship, haiku poem recognition, student council, and most improved in Imagine Math. And six year completion.
We conclude with Mr. Rodriguez's class. Let's give them a round of applause. Next, we have our sixth grade class from Mrs. Izquierdo's class. And we begin with Angela M. Alarcón with one, two, three times honor roll, citizenship, haiku poem recognition, and six-year completion. Stephanie Andalon with haiku poem recognition and six-year completion. <laughs> Ashley M. Banda with one, two, three times perfect attendance and six-year completion. Calamaco with all year perfect all year honor roll, haiku poem recognition, top AR, student council, and six year completion. Gilberto Y. Castillo Martinez with one, two, three times on a row and most improved in I Station and six year completion. Kevin A. De Luna with one to three times perfect attendance and six year completion. <laughs> Jose D. Duran, one to three times perfect attendance citizenship and six year completion.
Angela A. Estrada Ortiz, Haiku Poem Recognition and Six Year Completion. Jaden A. Fuentes with one to three times perfect attendance, all year on a row, haiku poem recognition, student council, and six year completion. Caitlin Garcia with one, two, three times perfect attendance all year on a row, gifted and talented student council and six year completion. Luis A. Garcia with six year completion. Angelina I. Gonzalez with all year perfect attendance, high school point recognition, and six year completion. Damien Jimenez, one to three times perfect attendance, haiku poem recognition, and six year completion. <laughs> Angel S. Lignan with one, two, three times perfect attendance and six year completion. <laughs> Jesus E. Lopez Escareño, one, two, three times perfect attendance, haiku poem recognition and six year completion. Caleb Montezuma with all year perfect attendance, high school point recognition, and six year completion.
Ramirez with all your perfect attendance, most improved in Imagine Math and six year completion. Anthony J. Ramos with Haiku Poem Recognition Student, Student Council and six year completion. Brandon A. Rivera with one, two, three times perfect attendance and six year completion. Maria F. Sanchez Montero, one, two, three times perfect attendance, high school poem recognition, and six year completion. Alex Vasquez Gonzalez. All year on a row and six year completion. Angelica M. Savala with Haiku Poem Recognition and Six Year Completion. That concludes Mrs. Izquierdo's class. We now, let's go ahead and give them a round of applause. continue with our preside presidential awards, very, very special awards. To present our presidential awards, we would like to ask our principal, Ms. Blanca Musquiz, and instructional officer, Veronica Rodriguez, to come up. And I read the letter from the White House. Congratulations on receiving the 2022 President's Education Award. Young leaders like you are why the First Lady and I are more optimistic about the future than ever before. This award is a testament of your hard work, tenacity, and perseverance, especially during these difficult times. You have shown your family, friends, school community what you can accomplish, and you should be very proud. You are part of the most gifted and talented generation in our history, and the world is going to need you. Keep studying hard, and remember to always lead by example. 
I have every confidence that you will translate your talents into greater opportunity, happiness, and prosperity for yourself, our nation, and the world. Your future is bright. Keep the faith. Signed, Joe Biden. Let's give a round of applause for those students that will be presented with the Presidential Award. We will start recognizing the students that got the Silver Presidential Award from Mr. Mr. Rodriguez class. We have Kevin D. Hernandez Obregón. Come up here, Kevin. Yes, you can come up here. Next, we have. Uriel Martinez with a Silver Presidential Award as well. Give a round of applause to Uriel Martinez. Go ahead and stay on the stage, thank you. From Ms. Izquierdo's class, Silver Presidential Award, we have Angela M. Alarcón. And that concludes our Silver Presidential Awards. Let's give a round of applause to our Silver Presidential Award students. A picture together? Did they all take a picture? All the silver? Yes? Okay. Hmm? Next, we will be presenting the Gold Presidential Award. And we begin with Mr. Rodriguez's class. We have Maria, jo Maria Jose Simuski. She is getting the Gold Presidential Award. From Mrs. Izquierdo's class, we have Eric Calamaco with a Gold Presidential Award. Also from Mrs. Izquierdo's class, we have Jaden A. Fuentes with Gold Presidential Award. We also have from Mrs. Izquierdo's class, Caitlin Garcia with Gold Presidential Award. And also from Mrs. Izquierdo's class, we have Alex Vasquez Gonzalez. Give a round of applause to the All Gold Presidential Award students for their hard work. We get averages from fourth, fifth, sixth grade, and they've had excellent averages that have get them to accomplish these awards, silver and gold presidential awards. Thank you very much. Let's give them a round of applause.
Thank you very much. At this time, we also want to recognize, like Ms. Muskis was saying, the students that helped us throughout the year for student council. Those students helped us with the food drive and they helped us with the bottle caps. They were, they were always very, very ready for me to just give them a, a job to do and they would do it. I want to thank you. Thank you for letting us continue with the TEPSA recognition as well. If you already have your trophy, you should have your trophy with you of the student council. Please come up here so you can take a picture. The student council students, we're going to recognize them are, we have Eric Calamaco. Please come with your trophy, Eric. Jaden A. Fuentes, bring your trophy so we can take a picture. Caitlin Garcia, Anthony J. Ramos, Kevin Hernandez Obregón, Aileen Hernandez, Maria Jose Simuskis, and Elena Ortiz. Go ahead and come up stage so we could recognize you as well as Carlos M. Vasquez. Yes. With a trophy. We are recognizing these students because they were the student council members for this year. Even though it's been difficult because of COVID, they helped us out a lot with the food drive activity. Thank you, student council members. You all did awesome. Thank you very much. Our next award will be presented by our instructional officer, Ms. Veronica Rodriguez. Before we continue, I also want to do a very special recognition to a student who got all six years on a row and all six years perfect attendance. Can you imagine that? Let's give her a round of applause to Maria Jose Muskies. Come up here, Maria Jose. Great job. All six year on a row, all six year perfect attendance. Maria Jose Muskies is receiving a plaque from Ms. Muskies. Ms. Veronica Rodriguez and her teacher, Mr. Rodriguez. Also a ring. She's also getting a class ring with the year 2022. Give her a round of applause. Great job, Maria Jose Muski. Great job, thank you. If Ms. Rodriguez, you can stay there, and Ms. Ms. Uh, Muskis too. Yeah, just Ms. Rodriguez, Ms. Muskis. 
Okay, we continue. As many of you all know, our school name was changed from Robert E. Lee Elementary to Juan and Seguin Elementary. Students, you will be able to remember to have been the very first group of students who became the first Juan and Seguin Longhorns. Today, I want to recognize our wonderful leader, our principal, who has worked countless hours to fulfill the needs of our school. It is with her hard work and dedication that we are able to enjoy the smooth transition from being named Robert E. Lee Elementary to Juan and Seguin, home of the mighty Longhorns. Today, she receives a plaque that reads that Juan and Seguin Elementary has been established this school year, 2021-2022, under her supervision and leadership. Let's give a round of applause to Ms. Blanca E. Muski. Thank you, Ms. Muskies. <laughs> okay, before we conclude our beautiful ceremony, we would like to invite our instructional officer, Mrs. Veronica Rodriguez, to say a few words. Hello and good evening. Before I introduce our next guest, let me take the time to congratulate the first sixth grade class of Juan N. Seguin Elementary. What you are holding in your hands, your certificates, trophies, and medals, these are all things that you have earned. Use these accomplishments to create more opportunities for yourselves and always make good choices. Take the time to thank the people that you love the most. This is a proud moment for you and your family to share and enjoy. I am sure that there will be so many more proud moments heading your way. Our next guest is Ms. Sydney Rodriguez. She was a former Robert E. Lee student. She attended our school from 2006 to 2012. While attending our school, she participated in events, various sports, was a member of UIL and student council, Sydney went on to attend Memorial Junior High and C.C. Wynn High School. While attending those schools, she was a member of the Mavericks tennis team, member of the National Honor Society, took dual credit classes, which led her to become a top 5% graduate in 2018. Sydney earned an academic scholarship to attend Our Lady of the Lake University in San Antonio, Texas. While attending Olu, she was part of their university's honor society and made the dean's list five times and earned her degree. She recently graduated from Our Lady of the Lake University on May 6, 2022 with a Bachelor of Arts in Mass Communications, focusing in digital film and multimedia production with a minor and certification in professional technical editing and writing. Sydney graduated with a point, uh, grade point average of 3.77, declaring her degree magna cum laude. It is my proud honor to introduce to you my daughter, Sydney Rodriguez. Good evening, everyone, and thank you, Mom, for the introduction. <laughs> um, again, good evening, parents, teachers, faculty, staff, and the graduating class of 2022. I remember when I graduated from sixth grade, back from when Juan Nancy Guin was Robert E. Lee Elementary. It was an exciting time. It was already the end of the school year. Summer was around the corner, and there was a new chapter in life waiting for us, just like how one is waiting for you all right now. <clears throat> Like my mom, Ms. Rodriguez, had said, I graduated college a couple weeks ago, and while I, can, while I can stand here and tell you what I had accomplished during my time at college, I would rather tell you all about the hard work and dedication that I had to do and have to be able to accomplish everything that I did. When you guys go to high school, and you are all getting ready to graduate from whichever high school that you are going to attend, you will have to decide on what your next step will be. 
Maybe it's college, a technical school, the military, or you want to work. Whatever you decide and whatever goals you have, know that everything takes hard work and dedication to accomplish. When I decided that I wanted to go to college, I also had to decide what I was going to be studying. I love writing and telling stories, so I decided to study film. I had to put in so much work because I was learning with other students who already had a background in film and extensive knowledge with more cameras than I can imagine and with way more software than I have ever worked with. But this is what I love. I dedicated myself to learning as much as I could in every class that I had, that I had to take in order to be able to understand and to use the knowledge that I learned and put that into my projects. Now, why did I decide to keep learning in a field where I did not know as much as the other students? I mean, it would have just been easier to switch majors, but I didn't. I loved what I was learning. I became so passionate in wanting other people's stories to be told and to write about people who are not well represented in movies. I had to work hard to understand how I can, how I can portray different groups of people in a better light in my writings and my projects. Through my hard work and dedication and love for my major, I was able to accomplish so much in college. Hard work and dedication are what got me through college to complete my degree, but it was also the love and passion that gave me the encouragement to finish. So I ask all of you, what do you love to do? What are you passionate about? Let that love and passion be your driving force to work hard and dedicate yourself to learning and understanding what you would like to do later in life. Once you find that love and passion, do anything possible to learn every aspect of it. Work hard to understand your subject and dedicate yourself to the passion that you love. Graduates, always remember, always remember where you started and where you came from. Find what you love, always work hard, and continue to learn as much as you want. Thank you and congratulations class of 2022. Thank you, Sydney Rodriguez, and good luck to you in your future endeavors. Okay, we want to give a special thanks to our staff here at Juan and Seguin for helping us out. To coaches, Coach Garcia, thank you, Coach Garcia. Gilberto Garcia is in the back. Hello, Coach Garcia. Coach Trejo, over here, raise your hand, Coach Trejo. Round of applause. Our star is not here right now, but we have our librarian, Adriana Urtiaga. Thank you for helping us out with the awards, Ms. Urtiaga, up here. Our special ed aide, Roy Vidal, he's helping us over there. I don't see him in here. Thank you, Roy. He's probably at the dance already. And your counselor, Melissa Melchor. Gracias también a todo, todos los padres de familia por todo su apoyo durante todos estos seis años. Thank you to all the parents for all your support. Remember this quote, boys and girls, that you have on the program. On the back of the program it says, your life is your, journey, your story and the adventure ahead of you is the journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential by Kerry Washington. Recuerden esta frase, tu vida es tu historia y la aventura que tienes por delante es el viaje para cumplir tu propio propósito y potencial por Kerry Washington. This concludes our graduation ceremony. Thank you for coming. Good luck to class of 2022 and go Longhorns! Remember, parents, to be here promptly at 9 o'clock. Recuerden, padres de familia, el baile es para los niños en el salón de conferencia y estar aquí para las 9 de la noche. Se termina, se cierran las puertas. Gracias.